Hey there, welcome to Let's Analyze with IRAT. In this video, I'll be explaining how you can set up your Power BI account or your Microsoft account without using a work email or a school email address. What we'll be doing here is to create a work email address and I'll be showing you two methods or two ways you can do this. If you care about creating a custom domain name, then the second method will be for you. If you don't care about the um, domain name, that's the name on the email address, you can just go ahead with the first method. So let's get straight into it. You will go to tempmail.org. I'll drop the link in the description below. This website automatically creates a temporary work email address, which you can copy. Um, when you scroll down this page, you would see this interface where you can, uh, which serves as um, the inbox where you see messages. Confirm that you've copied this email address and go straight to Power BI's sign in. I would also drop the link in the description below. You can now paste the email address here and click on submit. This process might take a few seconds. That depends on how fast your network connection is. Now, all you need to do is fill the form. Click on, I got it from my organization. If you click otherwise, you'd be asked to provide your school or work email address, which you don't have. So just paste the email address that we've copied earlier and click on next. This will take us back to the formal interface. Now click on, I got it from my organization. A verification code will be sent to your email address, which you can retrieve in the same website we used to generate um, the, the email address. Just scroll down to the inbox and refresh the message list. Here's our code. You can now fill up other requirements like the name, country, and the phone number. Tick the box and click on next. Your account has been created. You can now click on Get Started to launch the Power BI online service. You'll be asked to set up your Microsoft Authenticator. This is quite straightforward. All you need to do is to download the app on your Google Play Store or your Apple Store. Since this is straightforward, I won't be showing this in the video. You can just click on Ask Later for you to do it some other time. If you have any problem setting up your Microsoft Authenticator, you can inform me via the comment section or my LinkedIn profile. Awesome. So you can look through your profile by clicking on this icon and you can also um, do other things on the Microsoft Power BI online service. So that wraps up the first method and i'll be showing you the second method this method requires us to create a microsoft 365 plan i will drop the link in the description below you don't have to worry about the price you are seeing here we won't be making any payments click on try free for one month which will bring us to this interface you'd be asked how many people need their accounts just say one and click on next here we don't have a work email address just impute the normal your normal email address as your personal email address click on setup accounts and fill the form tick the box and click next.
A verification code will be sent to the phone number you registered. You can choose call me or text me. That depends on your, your choice. So you enter the verification code and verify. You can now see your username and your domain name. You can customize the username and domain name. Uh, you have to click on save to see if the name is available. You would also need to create a password. Uh oh, I think I included my name in the password. I'll just change that. So you, you shouldn't make that error. Now you'll be prompted to add a payment method. There'll be no need for that as your account has already been created. Open a new tab and search Power BI Login. Just click continue to get started. Impute your country business phone number. Click on get started and Power BI will be launched. So that wraps up the video. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.